guys, Gold Pony here. Today is the 2018 Subaru WRX, courtesy of Apple Subaru in York, PA. So for 2018, once again, there are three different trim levels available for the WRX. First one being the base WRX, that is going to start at $26,995. Then there is the premium for $29,295. And lastly, the limited, which is the one I have today, that one is going to start at $31,595. And we'll go over the trim levels throughout the video. As far as the power plant goes, that is going to be powered by a 2 liter turbocharged and intercooled boxer engine putting out 260 horsepower at 5600 RPM and 258 pound feet of torque available at a very low 2000 RPM. Power is going to be sent to all four wheels of course through Subaru's legendary symmetrical all-wheel drive system and the power is going to be sent to the wheels through your choice of either a six-speed manual which does come standard or an optional sport linear tronic transmission with paddle shifters and a manual shift mode. I do have the six-speed manual today, and that is actually the first thing I want to mention about this one. Having reviewed this car the last two years, I can tell you the six-speed manual in the 2018 version I have today is so much smoother shifting than the previous two years. And that is one of the things Subaru did want to improve upon in the 2018 model year, and they definitely did that. Very easy to find grab point, and the shifts are much less jerky and a lot smoother, so definitely a fan of that. But to then continuing on with the specs as far as MPGs go for the manual transmission, that is going to come in at 21 in the city, 27 on the highway. And if you go with the CVT, that's going to give you 18 city, 24 highway. And on this one, premium unleaded fuel is going to be recommended. And now since I'm on the back roads, as far as the handling goes, I am loving it. And there's going to be a slight difference depending on the trim level. If you do go with the premium or limited trim, you are going to actually get a sportier steering ratio. If you wanted to carve up the back corners a little bit, those two trim levels are going to be the ones you want to look at. And so, but now I'm going to do a quick little acceleration. Nothing too crazy, but just to get a quick little feel of how quick the 2018 WRX is. Definitely a quick car. As I was shifting through the gears there, you can hear the turbo whistle a little bit too. Another thing I did want to mention is as I was sitting on that hill back there before I did the acceleration, that was a very steep hill. And so then when I put it in first gear, there was no rollback because there is hill start assist on this one. So some people may worry with the manual transmission. Am I going to roll back into the car behind me when I put it in gear on a hill? Not with this one. And then as far as visibility goes, I have a quite larger rear window back there. So I have absolutely no issues with visibility. I can see perfectly fine back there. And of course, side visibility is fine as well. But so then enough with the driving dynamics, let's check out the exterior. And so up front there is a slightly revised front end for 2018, including that black lip at the bottom in the front end there as opposed to the body color lip for 2017. To the sides there are projector low beam and multi-reflector high beam halogen headlights. And by the way that is going to come standard on the base WRX and premium trim levels. If you go with the limited trim as I have today, you are going to get LED headlights up there. And another thing worth mentioning, as far as the housings for those headlights go, if you go with the base or the premium trims you are going to get clear housings again with the limited you are going to get black housings around those headlights just in case you noticed the difference and you were wondering why but so since i mentioned the limited trim that limited trim is also going to get steering responsive headlights meaning the headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of the steering wheel at night better illuminating what's around the bend so you don't go running into any deer or anything like that and last thing i wanted to mention in the front of course is the most obvious that massive hood scoop which is going to be feeding air directly into the intercooler helping the engine breathe better but then swinging away to the side there is WRX badging within that front fender there and when it comes to the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors and then yet another one of the differences for 2018 is there is a different wheel design available as well and, but I will prefix this with the base WRX wheels are going to stay the same they are 17 by 8 inch dark gray aluminum alloy wheels but if you did go with the premium or limited trims you are going to get 18 by 8.5 inch dark gray double five spoke aluminum alloy wheels which is a different design from last year and personally I like the design of this year wheel set up a lot better definitely looks high-end and fits this car very well and wrapped around those wheels they are all going to be wrapped in summer performance tires but then make your way to the back there is a rear spoiler that will come standard on all trim levels and just below it all there is an integrated diffuser within that rear bumper and to the sides a stainless steel exhaust setup with quad outlets so as always you guys here is that exhaust clip Now, 
since we are around back, let me show you guys real quick how to open the trunk. There is a button on the key fob here. That is what I'm going to use today. So simply press that and you have access to the trunk there. As far as the cargo capacity goes, that is going to come in at an even 12 cubic feet. And if that was not quite enough, those rear seats do fold down. There is a 60-40 split providing a ton of additional space if you needed it. And then when it comes to that rear seat legroom, that comes in at 35.4 inches. And while we're in the back, there is a rear armrest with cup holders within that as well. And then making our way to the front seats, the base WRX and premium trims are going to come with six-way manually adjustable cloth seats. If you go with the limited, you are going to get 10-way power adjustable leather seats, which again is what I have today. And if you were looking for heated seats, they come standard on the limited and the premium trim as well. But then looking forward, there is a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel with red stitching throughout. And the steering wheel is tilt and telescoping. So between the seats and the steering wheel, I was definitely able to find my perfect driving position there. And then when it comes to the startup, to start this one, simply put your foot on the brake and clutch and press that engine start button. And then upon startup, those gauges will do a full sweep. The tachometer is on the left, speedometer is on the right. And there is a digital display in the middle there, giving you a ton of additional information, including your average miles per gallon at any given time. That's going to be at the very top. It kind of lets you know how you're driving at any given time. That's definitely nice. Also, you got your trip A, trip B, and it does display what gear you're in while you're actually driving as well. But then when it comes to overall interior quality, I do want to mention the pedals. They are aluminum alloy pedal covers. Definitely look good down there. There's also a leather wrap shift knob, a power sliding moonroof with tilt function for the premium and limited trims only. Also did want to mention there is an available performance package that goes for $2,050. That is going to add Recaro front seats with Alcantara inserts. Also, there's going to be high performance brake pads with that one and a moonroof delete helping you save a little bit of weight there. And that red stitching besides the steering wheel does continue throughout the vehicle, including on the seats as well as on the doors there too. And just above the glove box there, there is some carbon fiber included as well. So that's definitely nice. And just in front of the shifter there, there is an LED illuminated storage tray with the 12 volt power outlets. So that's nice too. But let me move on to the tech on this one because the WRX has a pretty nice setup. First, let me start with the smaller tech, which is located on the very top of everything. That's going to give you your time of day as well as the temperature outside, as well as the boost pressure at any given time. But just below all of that, there is a Starlink 6.2 inch multimedia display at the base WRX. If you go with the premium or limited trims, you are going to get a Starlink 7-inch multimedia display giving you access to Pandora so you can like and dislike your songs up there. As well as iHeartRadio, there's Bluetooth and audio streaming. If you press the info button up there, that'll give you access to sports information, weather information, stocks, and different fuel prices for whatever area you're out there. And if you were considering a factory navigation system, that is going to come on the limited trim there. But now let me touch on the sound system here because all trims are actually going to come standard with a six-speaker sound system. However, there is an optional nine speaker 440 watt Harman Kardon sound system optional on the limited trim and that is actually the one I have today so let's turn on the radio and test out the clarity of that one Apologize for the bubblegum music in advance. I never know what's going to come on. Definitely a good bit of bass though and crystal clear. Definitely a fan of that Harman Kardon sound system they had on this one. But the last thing I did want to mention is when you do put the vehicle in reverse. And by the way, to put the six-speed manual in reverse, what you're going to want to do is you are going to simply lift up just below the shift knob there and slide the shifter into the back right-hand corner. And the reason it's set up that way is so you don't accidentally put the vehicle in reverse, causing all sorts of problems. So definitely a nice setup for the reverse on the six speed. But anyways, when you do put the vehicle in reverse, there is a reverse camera up on that screen up there, letting you know who or what is behind you, which as always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. There is a driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, there are rear child door locks as well as latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children. Of course, you have to mention the Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, which is a safety feature in itself. I believe Consumer Reports, when they actually ranked all the all-wheel drive systems out there, I believe Subaru Subaru did have the number one all-wheel drive system for driving in the snow and things like that. Look that up for yourself if you want, but that's what I remember. But then continuing on, there is also daytime running lights for all trims. There's four-wheel anti-lock brakes with brake assist and a tire pressure monitoring system. Also included is vehicle dynamic control with traction control. And if you go with the CVT equipped limited trim, you do have an optional Subaru EyeSight available. That one is going to include adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking, and late departure and sway warning. And when you throw the six-speed manual into the mix, again, you do have optional safety, including blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert reverse automatic braking and high beam assist and so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on this stuff at the bottom of the screen right there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold